And we are still going to have delays to get through a, a pretty bad rush hour. Uh, we've got major delays on uh, 7th and 8th Avenues as you uh, make your way through the Midtown area, 7th Avenue. Delays. In 2011, I was invited to the White House to read my poetry and to have a poetry workshop uh, with the First Lady. And I just said the things that I normally say. I talked about plagiarism. I talked about file sharing. I talked about, you know, inauthenticity. I talked about insincerity and all the things that I just normally talk about. And I looked at the First Lady, and she was completely engaged. So far as she even went to ask questions about, about the different things. I talked about my book, Day, and she said, but what day was that that you did, and why did you do it? And she was just like, I'm like, wow, I'm talking about illegal stuff here at the White House, and everybody seems to think it's great. But when I began reading traffic reports, the room lit up. And there's a, actually, there's a picture of Obama leaning back in his chair like this with a big smile on his face when I was reading traffic reports, okay? So the weirdest, most avant-garde, most appropriated text was the one that got the biggest response because it was in the language that everybody could understand. It was vernacular. So this is radical populism. People say that the work that I do is undecipherable, nobody can understand it, but in fact the radicality of it is it's democracy, is the fact that everybody can understand it. Right out of Central Park all the way down to Times Square. Broadway's not impacted, obviously. 9th and 10th Avenue seeing more traffic as well, but not as bad as uh, headed through the Times Square area. Meanwhile, on the east side, it's a torture test. Uh, well, you know, you go to the White House to read. You want to, you know, you want to dress pretty well, I would think. And then Obama looked at me and he said, hey, that's a great suit. I would wear a suit like that. He said, but my people would never let me. I can be completely surprised by the way people are speaking about something I've written because in a sense I haven't really written it, I've just sort of moved it, you know, onto a pedestal for everybody to examine. Um, so it's a much cleaner, cleaner way of, of, of dealing with an artifact, saying, gee, isn't that interesting? Any angle you hit on that thing is going to be right. And I kind of feel that contemporary writing uh, needs to be self-conscious of the media. Uh, and manipulate it as its primary content. You know, if you aren't making artworks with the intention of having them copied, you aren't really making art for the 21st century. The uh, plagiarism and copyright trials of the 21st century are what the obscenity trials were to the 20th century. And these are really the issues of our time. Now, of course, we have no more uh, you know, obscenity to get through, everything, everything is done, but we still have problems with plagiarism. And so to me, these are re reproducibility, replication, mirroring, reproduction, copyright, intellectual property are really the true content of writing in the 21st century. Right now, you've also got jam ups on the Brooklyn Bridge, bumper to bumper to Brooklyn, but the lower roadway is wide open. The Brooklyn Bridge is swamped. The FDR Drive's not looking good either. Bumper to bumper right off the Manhattan Bridge. Meanwhile, the West Side Tunnel delays begin in the 70s and they go all the way south down to the Battery Tunnel. 